guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a collective haul. Now, majority of this stuff will be makeup and then I've got a few clothing things. So I've been collecting all of this stuff to do a haul for you guys because I was like, I went shopping, um, what did I do? I went shopping one day when I was waiting for my mum for work. And then the next day, one of my friends, she wanted to go shopping also, so we went shopping again. And so then I bought a lot of stuff those two days. And then I had also bought some things on the Colourpop website. And then I recently bought a few other things that I wanted. Oh, and also one of these things are Back to Mac things, which I'm just going to put in here with it. Okay, so... I'm going to start off with my clothing items because I don't know if a lot of you really like to see my clothing things. Also, there's only two things, so it's easy. First thing is a pair of jeans. Now these are light wash colored jeans. I got these from H&M. They were about $30, so they were really they were really good price. And um it's getting into winter now, so I love wearing jeans during winter time. And I have I have two like really expensive jeans that I got for Christmas last year. And then I've also got a black pair of jeans. And none of the colors that I've got are this color. So I've got four now I've got four pairs of jeans that are all different colors and they're also very different price ranges like this is my cheapest pair of jeans and then and then I also have then I have my black pair which I think was like $80 and then I've got my other two which are like dark and lightish denim and they were each $150 so I've got the huge range but I really wanted some jeans that I could wear out clubbing because Jeans would be a thing that I would wear out clubbing or going to a bar and just with like a nice top and my makeup all done. I decided to get those because I didn't really want to ruin my $150 jeans. And then also from, from H&M I got this belt. It's a silver buckle because I only really wear silver so silver buckle and very it's got a very nice pattern to it as you can see. And I've worn the I've worn this belt with the jeans before and it was really nice. And also the jeans actually they're like not overly thick so they won't cut off my like they're skinny jeans also so they're not going to cut off my circulation and they're not going to overheat me so which is really good. That same time I bought those pair of jeans I went from those pair of jeans in the belt from H&M. I also went to Cotton On, Cotton On Body, and I got two candles. I love these little candles. I have a hot pink one, which is in the scent Spice, which I got a few weeks ago, three months ago. Um, actually, I got it on Boxing Day, and they're only five dollars each, or they're ten dollars unless you buy on special like I did, or you buy with a when you buy something. So two candles were ten dollars. So this white one is vanilla. I love candles. And I love these little mini candles to have on my makeup collection area. And then I got this printed one, which is bamboo. And these, all of these candles are soy wax candles. So they last for 22 hours. So for such a small candle and for five bucks, it's really good. Last non-makeup related thing is this. Now this is a sunglasses case. Now I got this case from Forever New because I got these new sunglasses. Now these are Mimco sunglasses and I love them. They're black but then they've also got white on the inside and I love them. I fell in love with them straight away and because I had the day I went shopping while I was waiting for mum, I actually broke my pair of sunglasses, which deeply saddened me. I was like, 
depressed. It was so sad. But um, I decided that I would spend the money and buy a really nice pair of sunglasses. So these are were $179 and I don't regret spending that at all. Because I've never spent more than like $80 on a pair of sunglasses and they all break within a couple of months. So because I also chuck my sunglasses in my handbag a lot, I decided to get this hard case. And I got it from Forever New. That's Forever New up here. I got a hard case. I got my sunglasses in like a hard case. This is a Michael Kors hard case. But they they fit in. But they just, it's not as hard, like the case is not as hard as I wanted it, wanted it to be. So, so when I saw this case the day after I bought the sunglasses, I was like, it's fate. I gotta go buy it. I gotta have it. The case was only $10. So in total, my sunglasses and the case cost me less than $200, which is such a bargain. I love it. And I decided to get the gold one because there was a gold one and a pink one, but I like the gold one a little bit more. Okay, now onto the makeup things. So, um, I did, I placed an order at Colourpop. I went to Sephora once, and then I went to Priceline twice. So, oh, and I also went to Mecca and Mac. Okay, so I'm going to start with the Colourpop stuff. This is the box. Now, I have looked through this. I have used some of the... Uh, shadows so when I ordered it there was a free gift which was you get two brushes or you get a brush for help I don't know there was some gift I got the two brushes that were on offer I have used the blending brush but I haven't used the shader brush yet we'll see I won't use them in tutorials but I'll let you guys know how they go at some point but the blending brush was really good it works as well as like all of my other blending brushes. I got two lip products. I kept everything in their boxes, so. I got a lippy stick, and I got it in Baywatch. So I, this is my first lippy stick, so I'm not sure how they go, but I'm excited to see how it goes. And then I also got a ultra matte lip, and this is in Bad Habit. And the color looked really nice on the website but that's what that looks like it's really pretty I actually really like that it's just as good as it was on the um, website and then I got six of their new pressed shadows now I've put four of them already in the little palette that was sent with like you get with it so those are the four colors in the palette I got this shimmery color which is let me explain I got this matte crease brown sort of color which in conundrum I got this nice matte burgundy color in which is in the shade going steady and then I got this shimmery burgundy color in pinky promise and that's the ones that I put in the little palette and then I got two others on by themselves I got this dark matte brown in cloud nine then i got this matte i think it's like a burgundy color this is called cute alert and then i got a few of their super shock eyeshadows now these i've i've used the pressed shadows i hadn't now i got i got 11 of them and four of them had broken when i got by the time they had got to me so i got this color which was broken when I got it and I've just sort of tried to press it back in but this is Porter this one was also broken when I got it this is hot tamale and I've actually used that one this one had like like I couldn't press it all back because there's like a bit missing out of it which really sucks but I like the colors like most of the colors that I really liked on the website I still like now, but most of them were smashed when I got them. This is Weenie. This was another one that was smashed. It wasn't as badly smashed as some of the others, like Hot Tamale, but still was smashed. But it's a gorgeous colour. And this is another one that was smashed also. And this one was smashed really badly too. 
It is White Rabbit and I love the coppery colour but really depressed me like all the colours I loved were smashed. Okay and then I got K-Pop um, Beverly and this is that like K-Pop pop, um, collection but I love the colour. Then I got Muse. I've opened all of these already just to make sure that they weren't all smashed. I've Keeper. Love this colour. And then I've got Envy, which is a little bit like smashed, but not too bad. I fell in love with Envy online. It was gorgeous. And then I've got Arrow, which is a little, little bit like bent in around the edges, but yeah. This is the first time that I've brought from Colourpop that any shadow had been the slight of slightly like bent or anything like the first time I ordered nothing was wrong with my whole order I'm glad the press pressed shadows didn't shatter and then I've got Tang which is like a light dusty rose color and then I accidentally got um what is it um bandit bandit which I already have so we'll see what I do with that so now going on to what I got at Sephora Priceline and Mecca. Okay, so starting with the Mecca thing, the only thing I got for Mecca was this Lano Lips Lemonade Lip Treatment for Very Dry Lips. Relief for Dry Rough Lips in Ultra Rich and Creamy Whipped Lanide Treatment. So much information. It's just like this it's a 12.5 grams of product. And it is amazing. I used it earlier this morning for my lips and it is amazing. It smells of lemonade or of lemons. It's so good. I love it. Okay, so now going on to what I got from MAC. So I had 12 products of MAC items that I had finished up already when I was going through my makeup collection. So when you have a six products to go give back to MAC they give you a lipstick and because they had 12 I got two. So these are two MAC lipsticks that I've never worn before. Uh, the, the first one here is Twig. Twig is a satin formula and it's a really gorgeous colour. And the other MAC lipstick is Craving and that one is just this one up here. Craving is a amplified cream finish. With lipsticks I only like to wear a matte MAC lipstick if it is a like a dark color like a red or like a burgundy or something like that if um, if it's more something like an everyday wear like this I will wear an amplified or a satin sometimes I'll wear a matte but not, not all the time and I don't like cream sheen finishes because they're sheen they're like a sheer coverage and I just don't like that and same with the glaze finishes and the frosts. I don't like those at all because they're just very frosty and everything. So I've limited my ability to buy MAC lipsticks. Okay, so now on to my first trip to Priceline. Um, the one thing that hit that here is not makeup, but it is skincare, is this bio oil. Now bio oil I thought was really good for my stretch marks. I have I have stretch marks because I'm not this most smallest of person ever. So I've got stretch marks on my hips and on my boobs. So I thought that this would help with that and it also says it helps with aging skin. Even though I am 21 but I want to look after my skin more. Um, so yeah, I will let you guys know how this goes. I only got this more one because I didn't want to buy one of the big ones in case it didn't work but this is still quite a big it's 60 mils so it was like $15 it wasn't badly priced now on to my makeup okay so I got a few things so I could get rid of a few things if that makes sense yeah so I I wanted so I got the models prefer mineral powder in photo ready and this is a really good highlighter for, um, I've heard, I've heard, it's a really good highlighter for 
my skin and um, this is so I can get rid of my NYX highlighter because I don't like that. And then I got a Models Prefer Contour Palette and this has got a highlighting and a contouring press powder and I got the shade Light and that's just because I don't have any drugstore contouring powders. And then because Models Prefer had a three for two so you buy three products but you only pay for two, two of them so I decided that I would get the models prefer nude matte nude 10 shadow eyeshadow palette I'm gonna open this just so you guys can see the colors so like all of them they come like this and I'm pretty sure I got rid of my last ones in my um, culling but these are all matte shades I really like the shadows so I decided that I would get it and it was basically free. Like all of these models preferred products that I bought were all the same price. So basically the eyeshadow palette I got for free. Okay, and then I also got the NYX Above and Beyond Full Cover Concealer. And I don't know if this is a good match, but I thought this would be a good that this would be good instead of my Napoleon Pro palette concealer because that is really old and I decided not to get rid of it because I still needed it so I got the next one instead it should be a good match for me I got the shade light so it should work then going on to my more recent price line expedition which was only a couple of days ago I got the Maybelline V face duo stick that's just what it looks like so it's got a contour at one end and a highlighter at the other and it is a cream finish so I wanted to give cream contouring a go in this so now I can get rid of my Maybelline fit me stick contour thing because it's not like that wasn't a really good contouring shade where this is and I got the shade light so it should work for me and then while I was there I got these brushes. So these are the Models Prefer Brush Up On It brush set. Now these are your oval brushes. So there are five high tech oval brushes in this kit. This kit was $35. So each brush was $7 each. So I thought it was a really good price and yeah, I wanted to give them a go. I've heard really, really good things about them. So I thought, why not buy this palette? It's seven, well, this kit. It's $7 per brush. It's really cheap. And yeah, I did think about getting, there was like a free gift when you buy, when you spend like $40 on Revlon stuff. But I decided that I would actually buy the brushes instead of buying something from Revlon that I don't need. Now onto my Sephora things. So the first thing I got was this Beauty Blender kit. So it has two of the original Beauty Blenders and a blend liquid blender cleaner cleanser. So I really I wanted to give this a go, and I thought this was only sixty-three dollars, and so these each are thirty dollars. So the cleanser was only three dollars. So I decided that I would get it and try it out and I don't know we'll see how we go and then I have been obsessed with these little the original beauty blender micro minis I really have been wanting to try these forever since they came out I've heard mixed reviews about them but why not let's just buy them they're only like $27 or something like that so yeah I decided to get that and then I also got a Tarte Amazonian clay 12 hour blush and this is in Seduce and I really wanted a new Tarte blush one that I could wear most days really and then I got the Tartus Pro Glow to Go palette and so this is really tiny like I'll show you it's like the size of my hand which is awesome and it comes with two highlighting shades and a contour shade and I thought it was amazing and I really I love Tarte's Amazonian clay blushes and their bronzers so I decided that I would give this a go give the Tarte's pack 
set a go. So yeah, and then I got this Michael Kors uh, roll-on perfume and lip gloss. I got this as a free gift because I spent $50, or well, I spent over $50, which if I had just bought this, I would have gone over. Okay, so that is it for all my makeup stuff and skincare and all of that. So I'm just going to tell you guys something, I'm just going to show you guys something that I, some books I have recently brought. So I have recently started getting into reading again. So I watched this TV show Famous in Love and then I found out it was based on a book and I was obsessed with the TV show. I like, I watched it like three times, like all ten episodes. So I have, I had decided to buy the book. And so that's the book. It's called Famous in Love. And then I also got the second one. Now, I only got it on my iPad because I, there was no where that I could find the actual book. So when the actual book comes out, I will be buying it. But for now, I have it on my iPad. And then I also had the second book. And then I also got the Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up by Maria Condon. Condon, I think. Yeah, Marie Condon. So I have these three books to read. I am currently in the middle, I'm on chapter seven at the moment of reading Famous in Love, the first book. So I'm really excited. And then when I finish that, I will go on to the second one. My battery is now flashing again. So that is the end of my collective make, uh, my collective haul. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I have just been waiting to show you guys all of this stuff. Now I can go play with it and put it away into my makeup collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys like hauls, then please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more hauls, leave me a comment in the comments because I would love to know if you guys want to see more hauls. I love filming them. My bank account doesn't exactly like them, but you never know. I love playing with new makeup too. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video and if you did, please give a big thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel because it means so much to me when you guys do. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks guys. Bye.